some of the public officials that we feel are already compromised, we are going to write to the IEBC using the channels that we already have between IEBC and all political parties. 24 hours after the country's second-in-command claimed that there are government operatives who are planning to interfere with the general election next week. Senior government officials led by the Interior Cabinet Secretary, Dr. Fred Matiangi, have rubbished the claims. As the government and its senior officials mobilized to campaign for any particular candidate, the answer is simply no. Number two. Have we instructed national government administration officers to campaign for any particular candidate? The answer is no. Have we been meeting chiefs in secret meetings and planning uh, against uh, the UDA presidential candidate? The answer is no. I mean, there's no evidence presented uh, uh, on that. Uh, have the cabinet secretary, principal secretary, and senior uh, NGAO officials been holding meetings and threatening chiefs to campaign for or support a particular candidate? The answer is no. Matiange's father challenged UDA presidential candidate William Ruto to table evidence to that effect that chiefs and other government officials have been asked to campaign for the Azimio Moja presidential candidate Raila Molo Dinga. No evidence is presented of this. They're just sweeping statements that are just made for the heck of it. In a rebuttal, Matiangi, who was speaking at the Administration Police Training College in Embakasi, Nairobi County, said that all meetings held with chiefs were done in public and not secretly as alleged. I am not aware, because there doesn't exist a discussion that has happened at the National Security Council authorizing us to meet the chiefs and instruct them to campaign for anyone. And if... His Excellency, the Deputy President, has got evidence to that effect. He should provide it to the public because that evidence would reside in the minutes of the National Security Council or in the agenda of the National Security Council. And then that communication will be translated in a memo by the head of the public service who is a secretary to the council, which I have not seen. Matiangi further called on the DP to provide dates and places where the Rift Valley administrators have been meeting at night to strategize on suppressing voter turnout in the region. Government is not a secret society. You, you, you know, the, the, these allegations create an impression that government has been operating like a secret society. Government is not a secret society, which meets somewhere under a tree and conspires. We're not engaged in any conspiracy against anyone. And the things we do are guided by an agenda. And in most cases, we take notes of this. While on the same breath, the CS says that, that there will be no interference with the transmission of electricity in any part of the country as alleged by the Kenya Kwanzaa camp, especially next week, where over 20 million Kenyans are expected to choose their next leaders for the next five years. I am not aware of any scheme or any effort to influence the Communications Authority of Kenya or any effort to influence the Kenya power and lighting to switch off power. Sometimes in a civilized world, some of these claims, uh, I find them too cheap and too ridiculous to even think about. And when they come from the mouths of senior leaders, you sometimes don't know whether to laugh or cry. It's so petty. Abdes is Ibru TV.